Hi Aries, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to bring you your December 2023 tarot and cartomancy reading. I have laid out the cards and everything already for you. And we're going to tell you what's going on here. Let's get into it. So your jumpers today are the Seven of Pentacles, the Judgment, and the Ten of Cups. Um, I think that you have been um, putting a lot of time and energy into your work, you know, what your, what your creative outlet is. And you may have been saving up, okay? But I think that you're looking for something new, something different than where you are, whether it's where you're working or where you're living. Could also be your relationship, but you're looking for something different because I feel like you, you are investing and working a lot and not really getting the rewards you think you should be out of this. So you want to come out of the cave at this time. I feel like you've been um, dealing with some of your issues, maybe health problems, whatever it may be. You've been spending some time dealing with that and you're ready to come out and join life again, you know. I, you could have been um, dealing with some unresolved issues to be, uh, from the past. But anyway, you're ready to move on to something more successful in relationships um, specifically. This cycle is ending and you're beginning a new one. You might be thinking about moving. Um, you may be shifting relationships. Um, but I, you know, I feel like there's something to do with where you're living specifically. So in the recent past, you have the Seven of Wands, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So in the past here, it looks like, you know, for one thing, you were working really hard and you had to compete and struggle and compete a lot to get any recognition. You know, you, you've you been working really hard. Also, you're not sure if you want to stick with it. You know, you're, you're thinking uh, uh, of, of, and it put, could be hard on you, like on your system, on your body, hard, difficult for you to do this kind of work. So you're considering of whether you're going to stick with it or you're going to say sayonara, see you later. At the same time, um, I think you're trying to um, do things that are true to yourself. You know, you're starting to like yourself, trust yourself, and go with what you want, what your feelings are. Also, too, I want to mention as well, um, there's something here about negative messages. You know, we can... We can hear all kinds of fear out there, you know, online and on TV. And it doesn't mean we need to be afraid. It doesn't mean that we need to react um, that way, you know, to what we hear or what people are doing, you know. So there's something about that resisting, reacting. Think about that. Re resisting reacting because I feel like you're learning that here in this reading okay um so you're communicating more lovingly more um supportively um and maybe just not ha you know taking a side at all just listening and and getting into your own thing again I feel like you've been working really hard putting a lot of time in at work saving up your money perhaps for something better for something bigger but you have some sort of a challenge um in getting to this next uh there's some sort of challenge in your way okay 
I think you're going to get by this challenge, whatever it is. It seems impassable, but there is a way. And sometimes that is just patience, just waiting, you know. We are a very go, go, go life, eh? And, and sometimes we need to just slow down and just wait for things to catch up to us, maybe. But anyway, I feel like you're going to go around this, this um, barrier that's there to your to what you're what you're working toward okay what you're spending your money on what you're putting your time into so you're going to get around this challenge this barrier this could be a health challenge you know like i said there could be something about what you're doing that is difficult for you you know it might be that you have to climb a lot of stairs you know you might have to lift heavy things you may have to stand on your feet for long periods of time some do you know and so uh but the, it says that you are successful of getting around this barrier and moving forward i feel like you have support i feel like you may be granted some sort of pass in some way okay so because there's something to celebrate something to celebrate this is this could be a um, recognition or something you were having difficulty getting recognized like geez you know my arm is sore you know and they're not listening to you so maybe you're successful at getting the help that you need anyway in the present you have the star the ace of cups the strength four of pentacles and the two of swords so in the star, um, the star is about having renewed hope. You know, we have faith in things again. We're deciding we're going to believe things will work out. We're not going to go with the negative side and think, oh, geez, what's going to... No, we're going to think, you know, it'll probably be fine. Don't worry about it. And you're having this sort of, this sort of a attitude. And that change is good is a big message here change is good you're ready to welcome it in okay and in it is coming and it it's coming in the form of a person or a home a new home okay so this could be something you see in the paper not that we look at the paper online you hear from through a friend something you see a for rent sign in a window i don't know but there's an opportunity for here for you here for something new just what you were hoping for and see when you had that faith when you thought you know what i'm not going to worry about it things going to work out this is where i'm putting my energy and my focus and you know manifesting this writing it down what would you like i know these things are little things but they really do help so anyway so here you go. And one of the big things that is needed here from you, Aries, is, is trust. Is trust. Okay? So you have faith. You know, you're trying to believe and be open. And the strength is about handling things with grace. You know, Hercules could have gone up to this cave and just went up and just started bashing the lion. But he thought he'd investigate and figure out what, why is this lion so crazy mad, you know? And he finds out that the lion has this giant bone in between his teeth, causing it a lot of pain. And so um, Hercules is able to help the lion and then the lion doesn't terrorize anybody anymore. So it solves the issue. So the, it's about trust and handling things with grace, not necessarily, not necessarily strong arm tactics. Going in there and saying, well, this is how we're going to do it. You know, it's not, this isn't the way to handle this, this situation you're in. It is grace. Okay. And trust that other people uh, can do what they're supposed to do 
Um, and then the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is about someone not sharing, okay? Perhaps they're putting money away. They're saving up their money. They're stashing it, you know, and saving for this opportunity. Um, but perhaps it's time and energy that they're not sharing. They're not pitching in. It also could be the other way around where you're not, you're needing to conserve your energy, you know, for what you're, what you're um, planning. But this is going to cause an argument of some sort, a dispute, okay? This is disagreement with someone. You don't, you don't uh, agree on a matter. And that's something to do with how much each other is putting in. Are you contributing enough money? Are you contributing enough work, housework? Are you contributing? And it could be shared living situation, or this could be at work where you don't feel someone's pulling their weight or, you know, something like this is going on, okay? And so this matter, the strength is right in the dead center of your reading, needs to be handled with grace, okay? Needs to be handled with grace. So just remember that. So coming in the future, which is near the end of December, you have the Fool, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. This is all really, really nice. And I think it's coming as karma because of how you're conducting yourself now. The Fool is taking a risk, you know. This is a whole new chapter that's beginning for you. This is, this is you know, it, 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 it makes a, a real change in your life. And that is, again, where you're living, where you're working, okay? It also could have something to do with a new person entering your life here. Because I feel like you're going to hear from somebody, okay? You're going to hear or start communicating with the Queen of Pentacles. And I think this is going to move very quickly. This is going to, you know, you're going to be talking and then all of a sudden you're going to be seeing each other and then all of a sudden it's like really quick, okay? And um, it's exciting. It's exciting. This person is very sensuous, you know. She's, it, it, and then this, you know, you it could be either sex, right? This person is very good um, at, well, they call this lady, she's very smart, okay? She's very loyal. This person's loyal, grounded. Uh, they're probably a homebody. They like to tend the, the home and the farm and the, you know, uh, they're helpful, nurturing, like, and very sensuous. And so I feel like you're going to start communicating with this person. And this is something new for you. Um, this person I feel like is single. And, and, and you may be too. You may be available to pursue this. Both of you are, I feel. And then we have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups travels to, to be romantic with someone, provides situations and opportunities to be romantic it's not just words they're they're taking action you know the knight of cups is on a goal to win someone's heart and they usually get their goal they usually achieve what they're after so even though you're having this struggle in the past with someone or in the present with someone who you're living with or relationship or work or something like that. Take heart because here is coming something new. It's kind of um, inaugurating this new thing coming in your life because here's where you decide to react differently, you know, and it makes a big change for you. Anyway, so I also feel like you may be nurturing, you might be going after a new um, job pursuit and where you could be working, this could be, you know, your own business, you could be working very independently on your own, 
Um, and it could be in the caring field, the health field, the caring field, helping. But So in your cartomancy, which is reading the regular playing cards, you have the Jack of Hearts, Seven of Diamonds, Queen of Hearts. So this is romance. This is uh, romance and this is wh what you're hoping for, okay? The Queen of Hearts is someone we're attracted to. They're usually good looking, charming. Uh, this, these people are, are even sweet. They are supportive and nurturing and, um, and sometimes they have blue eyes and are fair skinned, fair hair. It doesn't have to be, but usually this is the one you have a real shine for. And anyway, I think something is sparking here with this person between you and this person. Okay. And it's something you were kind of hoping for. It may have been delayed, but it was something you're hoping for. And then you have the Jack of Clubs, the Seven of Clubs, and the Six of Diamonds. And this is, represents a friend that you may have been worried about, okay? You may have had some sort of concern for this person. And, um, or they had concern for you. They were worried about you, okay? So there's some, some worry in a friendship. And I think that you're going to help each other out. You, they're going to help you out in some way, help you get a, a step further in your security, okay? Um, how that's going to happen. And you might be able to make uh, more money or they're worried about making more money. But the thing is, it's going to come through for them. They don't need to worry because things are going to work out. The money, they're going to be able to build their financial, what do they call that, uh, portfolio, all right, in some way. No, you're not in the rut you think you're in. Um, also, too, you may travel or a friend may travel to see you or you may travel to see a friend that you're concerned about. Okay. Um, five of hearts, four of clubs, ten of spades. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The, the card that jumped out is the nine of clubs. So this is around the job site. Okay. There's something going on around the job site. So that you may have to end, move on, or adjust in some way. Okay. So, five of hearts, four of clubs, ten of spades. Um, <laughs> I think that you might be offered something that is not financial, that is sentimental, um, but you have your doubts because you have to give up something else, okay? Um... And so you're not sure what to do. Like, I think you probably are going to accept this, um, whatever it is. And, but you have to end something else, which is, I don't know. I think it's difficult for you to do. Okay. But you have your doubts about it. So anyhow, and, and, and I kind of see it again here. All right. Jack of hearts, two of hearts, two of spades. So, <coughs> excuse me. So the jack of hearts or jack of diamonds, two of hearts, this is a message. This is an invitation for a date, for a meeting, for um, something friendly. That's for sure. Okay. Something real friendly. But at the end of this, you decide to break up. You decide to separate. You decide to, um, you know, end a partnership because this is a friendship, a close relationship of some sort, and you decide to separate with this person, okay? Uh, at the same time, you could be getting together with one person and separating from another person, maybe getting into the pot before you're out of the frying pan. 
I use all these old-fashioned sayings. I hope you like them. <laughs> so, then you have the Ace of Diamonds, Five of Spades, and Four of Diamonds. And here is that new opportunity. The Ace of Diamonds could be a contract, something you're signing, you're agreeing to, committing to, you know. But I feel like there's something missing in this contract that you're unsure about, that you kind of want that there for your security, and it's not in it. So I'm not, you might ask them to put something in that so that makes you feel more secure, okay? Um, so I, yeah, you, make sure you read it, okay, if you're signing something. So I feel like this is an agreement contract, um, something that is opening that new door for you. You're happy. This is really good, but it is, um, like I said, there's something missing in it, like maybe a parking spot. It could be about a pet too. You may not be able to bring your pet, you know, um, something like that. And you're like, no, I'm bringing my dog and there's no way about it. Uh, you might have to pay an extra fee to have one something like that okay and your very last card is the two of clubs well, the two of clubs is about forming strong bonds strong partnerships you could be um, going to a meeting this could be an interview for a job for a position this could be an interview for a health you know something to do with your health um, but I feel like it's partnering, it's negotiating, it's working something out that works for both sides, that's fair, okay? This is about fair. And your very last card is from the Sacred Rebels Oracle. Oops, I always twist things the wrong way. And the card that you have is Inspiration, number three. An idea has captured your attention or will do so very soon. It may be grand or a vague sense of something that could be. You're being encouraged to accept the vision, the idea or inspiration as it is important to your creative and spiritual growth. Also, it is possible. Um, the bees that you see here in the card are a powerful spirit totem. Bees are able to fly with wings that are significantly small in proportion to their heavier bodies. They can do so because of the sheer speed which which their wings move. Your idea, even if it seems like a big plan and difficult to get off the ground and up and running, can succeed. You will attract great helpers to you and the earth will support the success of this project, idea, or vision because it's helping the greater good as well as your own growth and development. Allow inspiration to fill you with enthusiasm and expectation of magic and marvelous synchronicity as people, situations, and opportunities fall into place to help bring your inspiration into reality. So, uh, you know, that's kind of what was saying here in the star and in the strength card. These are two big lessons that you learned this month is about to have faith and trust in the unknown. We don't know. There's no guarantees in life. We take a chance and we just think I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to enjoy it while I can, you know. And this is what you're doing here and you trusting that what's coming to you what your what's before you is meant for you and you will handle it with grace you know you'll handle it with love and grace and fairness so anyway wow aries i hope this reading has helped you this month or will in the days to come i want to wish you happy holidays and happy winter solstice on the 21st on the 21st the days officially start getting longer, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. So anyhow, um, take care. Talk to you soon. Love yous. Bye.